You made it out of the maze. Thank goodness. I knew you could do it. All right. So let's take this one step further. So instead of it just being an expression that's given to us, now we're going to take it out of a word problem situation because we use these all the time. Okay. That's really how they're being used. So we'll do it step by step. Make sure your notes are out, ready to go. Let's do it. So the expression 3.3m gives the number of feet in meters. Think back, we kind of did something similar to this when we did our conversion units, right? Going from feet to meters. And we use that m for meters. So they said uh, number of feet in m meters. So we want to know how many feet are equivalent to m equals 40 meters. So here's the first step to solving a problem like this. You first need to rewrite the expression. They already give it to you. That is easy, okay? They don't even make you work for it. It's right there for you. So we're going and just take it out of the problem, which is 3.3m. Now remember when it's next to each other like that, that really means multiplication. So it's 3.3 times m. All right. Second step that they also give you is to substitute. So we just need to know, well, what is m that they're asking for um, us to, to use? And they tell us m equals 40 meters. So we're going to substitute that in. Notice how I put the multiplication sign. So we got 3.3 times 40 Okay, and the last thing, now that we know what we substituted for, we know what to do, we just need to evaluate. Okay, and now this one you might need to do off to the side. Don't try and do it in the head, in your head. Um, so go ahead and take a moment to do that. And then I'll reveal the answer here in just a second. All right, see if you got the same answer as me. I got 132, and don't forget your label because it's a real world problem, feet. I'm getting feet because if I go back to the question, it said how many feet. We went from meters to feet. Okay, started with meters, ended with feet, 132. If you need to go back, take a look, feel free. Otherwise, let's try one more. The expression 6s squared gives the surface area of a cube, where s is the length of one side of the cube. Find the surface area of a cube with the side length of five meters again. Five M is just saying five meters. That's just the unit label. Okay. So again, we need to rewrite the expression first. So I'm just taking it straight from the problem. Six S squared. Okay. Then we need to substitute. Well, they tell us that the um, side length, which was S, is five meters. I know it doesn't say S equals five meters, but if we see that it says side length and up here it said S is the length of one side, we could probably figure out that's what S would be. So we're going to substitute that in. So again, when a number is next to a variable, even though it has this exponent, it still means multiplication. So we're going to write this as 6 times 5 squared, or 5 to the second power. And now you know what's next. We're going to evaluate. So I'm going to do this exponent first. I know it's going to be really tempting to try and do that multiplication first, but nope, nope, nope. Exponents come first in this case. So we're going to do 6 times 25, because that's what we get when we do 5 times 5, when 5 for 5 squared. And if you need to do multiplication off to the side or count by 25s, feel free. But we get 150. And this one's a little tricky. It's meters, right, because that's what we started with here. Um, but it's meters squared because we're finding surface area. Okay, with area, your units are always squared. I know we only talked about that a little bit way back when when we did area. But um, yeah, anytime you use area or surface area or whatever, units should be squared. So try your best to remember that, okay? All right, so you have two more problems to try on your own. Use these strategies. It's the same setup. Maybe just a little bit more work with your R of operations, but same idea. Get that checked with a teacher. They need to sign off on it, and then you can move on to 1C. Good luck.